The Flying Machine, written by Roderick Hunt, illustrated by Alex Brechta. Nadim was at the airport with his mom and dad. They had been to America for a holiday. Now it was time to fly home. Nadim's dad was nervous. I don't like flying. I hate taking off. I don't hate it," said Nadim. "I love it." On the flight, there was a surprise for Nadim. The steward asked him if he wanted to see the controls. Nadim was excited. He had always wanted to see the flight deck of an airplane. "Oh, brilliant!" he said. "Yes, please." The steward took Nadim and his dad to the airplane. These planes are huge," said Nadim. "They hold about four hundred people," said the steward. "There's a lot of people in one plane," said Nadim. Nadim and his dad went on to the flight deck. They met the captain. "We're flying on autopilot," said the captain. "The plane is flying by itself." Nadim looked at all the controls. I had liked to be a pilot," he said. "It takes a long time to learn," said the captain. "But what's to stop you? Don't let him take over the control just yet," joked Nadim. "Dad, I'm a nervous passenger." "Oh, Dad," said Nadim. After Nadim got home, he went to play at Bill and Chip's home house. And Nina was already there. Nadim told everyone about his holiday. I went on to the flight deck of an aeroplane. He said, "I'd love to be a pilot," said Nina.、Hmm? Mom called Belle and Chip. They had to go downstairs to help wash up. We won't be long," said Chip. And Nina picked up the magic key. Suddenly, it began to glow. It took Anina and Nadim on an adventure. The magic took Nadim and Anina back in time. It took them to a place in America. Why has the magic he brought us here? Asked Anina. They heard the sound of an engine. The sound was coming out of a big cloud of dust. A man was driving towards them in a strange-looking car. What an art is it? Asked Nadim. It looks like a really old car. You can you can stand there, called the man. You will be in the way of the flying machine. A strange-looking aeroplane was standing by a barn. Nadim and Anina had ever seen anything like it. Another man was walking on the aeroplane. The first man got out of the car and went over to him. Anina gasped. The two men looked alike. They must be twins. Said she said to Nadim, "Hello," said the second man. "I'm Henry, and this is my twin brother Harold. Who are you?" "I'm Nadim. This is Anina," said Nadim. "You're not spying on us, are you?" asked Harold. Why should we do that? asked Anina. We're just about to try out the flying machines, said Henry. But it's a secret. No one has ever made a flying machine before, said Haro. We'll be the first people to do it. It's amazing, said Nadim. We've not seen an airplane like this before. The twins laughed. A hairy plane, said Haro. That's a good name for it, a hairy plane. But it will never fly," said Anina. "Of course it will." Haro sat in the flying machine. "I'm ready," he shouted. Henry started the machine engine. The propeller began to turn. It spun faster and faster, but the flying machine didn't move. I told you so. Is the propeller? Said Anina. It will never work. It's too flat. She picked up two pieces of wood. 
it needs to be like this, she said. It acts like a screw to pull the plane through the air. Well, we could try it, said Henry. The twin changed the shape of the propeller. But it still won't fly, said Nadim. You only have a flat wing, said Nadim. You only have a flat wing. You have no way to make it lift up. How will it take off? Ha, huh, said Harrow. We've made a ram. The faster we go, the higher it will fly. Harold got into the plane. Henry started the engine. We'll see if you're right, he yelled. The propeller spun around the aeroplane. The aeroplane began to move faster and faster. It's working, shouted Henry. It still won't fly, said Nadim. The plane zoomed up the ramp at full speed. It rose in the air like a heavy butt. Yee-haw, called Henry. It's flying. The plane flew straight up. It went backwards in a loop. Then it got dived towards the ground. Help, yelled Harold. The plane hit the ground with a heavy bump. Harold was drawn out. It was still going at full speed. It roared towards Nadim and Anina. Stop it, yelled Harrow. Look out, shouted Henry. No one could stop the airplane. It headed towards a big water tank. It's going to crash, gasped Nadim. The plane went under the water tank. The wings snapped off. But the plane went on. It hasn't stopped, said Henry. The plane didn't slow down. It roared towards the farm. Harold and Henry jumped into their car and chased after it. One thing's for sure, said Nadim to Anina. Your propeller works well. Henry and Harold's mother and father live on the farm. Their mother had just done the washing. She was hanging it out to dry. Their father was watering his prized melons and pumpkins. Henry and Harrow follow. Nadim and Anina chase after them. Oh, heck, said Harrow. Why won't it stop? Oh, my, said Henry. It's heading for the farm. Oh, dear, said Anina. I don't like to look of this. The plane roared on. It ran through the washing. It squashed the melons and pumpkins. It hasn't stopped, shouted Harold. Now, what are we going to do? Let's hop it runs out of gas soon. The plane headed towards the town. A woman was painting her house. She heard the sound of an engine. Whatever is that? It sounds like a roaring bull. The plane ran and into the ladder and knocked it down. The woman fell to the ground. She still had the paintbrush in her hand. The plane went on. What the heck was that? Gaps the woman. At last, the plane stopped in the middle of the town. It had crashed into the statue. People ran, ran to see what all the noises was about. Henry and Harold stopped the car. They both jumped out. This doesn't look good, said Harold. <laughs> Nadim and Anina ran to see where the plane had stopped. Nadim spoke to Harold and Henry. You see, he said, the propeller works. Now you need to make flaps and a rudder. Suddenly, there was a noise. It sounded like an engine. It came from up in the sky. Everyone look up. An aeroplane was flying over the town. It's a flying machine, someone shouted. Another hairy plane, joked Anina. The people wave and cheer. The pilot of the plane would wave back at them. I know who that is. It's Wilbur Wright. He and his brother are the first men to fly. 
Well, I'll be darned," said Henry. So we aren't the first men to fly after all," said Henry. "The Wright brothers have beaten us to it." Never mind," said Harrow. "I have an idea for a boat that goes under the water." The magic key began to glow. It was time for Nadim and Anina to go. Sorry, we were such a long time," said Bill. "There was a lot of washing up to do." Never mind," laughed Anina. "The time just flew by, and it wasn't just the time that flew," joked Nadim.